Now let us discuss the oxidation states of the D block element. The D block elements or mainly we can say the transition element, they show variable oxidation states. Their oxidation state varies from plus 2 to it can go to plus 7 or even to plus 8. Now main reason that why they show variable oxidation state is because the energy difference between N minus 1 D and N S subshells are, is very less. Since energy difference is very less, so the electrons from the N minus 1 D are also available for reactions, for participa participation in the reactions along with the N S electrons. That's why we have more choice of the more number of electrons and they all show variable oxidation states. Now let us see what all states we can have for the 3D series elements. Starting from scandium to zinc, scandium shows plus 3, remember it is the only transition element which doesn't show variable oxidation state. The reason is it is only stable in plus 3. It doesn't show plus 1, plus 2 and remember it is in third group, it's having only 3 valence electrons, so it only shows plus 3. Titanium has 4 electrons, it's in the fourth group, it can show plus 2, plus 3 and plus 4. The circle oxidation state is one of its most common oxidation state. Then vanadium sh can show plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5. Yes, but plus 5 is it's one of the most favorite, most, most common one. Chromium, since it's in the uh, uh, your uh, uh, 16th group, a uh, 6th group, sorry. So it has 6 number of electrons. So it shows plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, and plus 6. And plus 3 and plus 6 are the most common oxidation states. Magnes, plus 2 to plus 7. It is in 7th group, 7 valence electrons, so it can go up to 7 and it's plus 2 and plus 7 are the most common ones. Iron shows, yes, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4 and plus 6 are its very rare oxidation state. We, are, we hardly find any one or two compounds within which it is existing in plus 4 and plus 6 oxidation states. Cobalt, yes, plus 2, plus 3, but plus 4 is not its very common oxidation state. Nickel, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, but it's more, more most stable in plus 2, so it mainly exists in plus 2. Copper, yes, shows both cuprous plus 1 and cupric plus 2, but it's yes, in, in aqueous medium, it is more stable in plus 2 oxidation. And in zinc, being non-transition, it only shows plus 2 because it requires a 3D10 completely filled configuration. So these are these oxidation states. What we find, the, um, the peculiar thing about these oxidation states is that the number of oxidation states increases up to the middle of the series and then it decreases. This graph is, this value is increasing and then it is decreasing. The reason is the number of unpaired electrons increases up to the middle of the series and then due to the pairing of the electrons it decreases. Then what we find is the same kind of trend is repeated in the 4D and the 5D series elements. What we particularly find very strange thing in this is that the lower, that means the 5D series elements are found to be more stable in their higher oxidation states. That's very peculiar behavior. When we compare them from the P block elements, what we find is like lead, like we are having bismuth and like we are having uh, thallium. Now all those uh, sixth uh, uh, period P block elements, they are found to be more stable in their lower oxidation state than in their higher oxidation states. Whereas very uh, contradictory to this statement, the same six period elements, the D block, 5D series elements, they are more stable in their higher oxidation state. The reason being because the very small and size what they require is very high anhydration enthalpy that makes them very stable in their, their higher oxidation states. Now, that is what we find is the chromium Cr to O7 to minus in its highest oxidation state is an oxidizing agent. Whereas when we can take out uh, like the lower elements, like if we take osmium or iridium, what we find is they are very stable in their higher oxidation state and they are not oxidizing agents. There are no oxidizing agents in, the, in their higher oxidation states, which shows that they are very stable in their higher oxidation states. Same is with the manganese. So these are the nature what we find in their oxidation states.